Well, look who's here. The Witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags on with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! But you kill me now! I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more, you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, polite like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head? Or not. Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, have he? Now piss off. We've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow him, believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or. Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa, what the bloody hell's this? Geralt, have you decided to play Defender of the Down Trump? More like Gutter of Sons of Bitches. Long as I'm here, y'all got no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a Witcher before. Defeat me, and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Just listen. Stunt. Fight. Time to fight, yeah. Men of better man win.
Well struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap, no. mate. Really necessary, that whole show? Ah. Show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest your wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. The trick's to plough through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If it ain't left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know you first must... Grant you three requests, by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? 
He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mint was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, uh, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there.